Behold, what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. He says, Therefore the world knoweth not us, because it knew him not. Dear child of God, the word of God says, What manner of love as the Master, as the Father, as your Lord, as your Saviour, as the one who had begotten you, as the one who died for you had bestowed upon you. Dear child of God, it doesn't matter what the people around you are saying. I want to remind you of the love of God. The Lord loves you so much. He loves you so much and wants to give you his very best. As a matter of fact, dear child of God, he gave you his very best. He made sure that he sent his son Jesus out of this love. He sent his son to die for you. Dear child of God, you have done nothing to deserve that love. We have not done anything good to deserve the love. Instead, we did everything wrong. But God would love us nevertheless. I want to remind you of the love of God. And it is time you grow in that love because God loves you so much. And as a child of ease, he wants to always remind you of this love. The word of God says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He says, For God so loved. He had so much love for you. And then he would sacrifice his very best for you. I want you to know that many times, it is not the things that you do that causes you to receive the love of God. But because he had decided to love you, regardless of the things that you do. Many times we have not done anything to end the love of God, but he loves us still. And I want to remind you today that God loves you so much. He has filled you so much with his love and he wants you to grow in that love every day. The word of God in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 2 says, Live a life filled with love. He says that we should live a life that is filled with love. Dear child of God, I want you to always remind yourself every day that the Lord loves you. He says, following the example of Christ, the Lord loves you so much. And I want you to fill yourself with the love of God. In the morning, at noon time, and at night time, remind yourself of the love of God. Always tell yourself, I know He cares for me. Yes, sometimes you may be going through some situations that are not so interesting. You may be going through some situation that causes you to be down. Sometimes you know you are going through pain. But I want you to know that God still loves you. He loves you so much and He wants to always be there for you. He says, live your life in a way that is filled with love. Isn't it so beautiful that the Father first had furnished us with His love and then called us His offspring? The Word of God says, what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Dear child of God, I want you to grow every day with this understanding that God loves you, that God wants the best for you. You are a product of His love. You see, because of His love, because of His mercies, you are not consumed. Many times you discover that God has shown you his love in uncountable measures. Many times you know you have done things that is so wrong, some things that should have earned the wrath of God, but yet you found mercy. Yet he showed you his good favor. He showed you his compassionate love. Remind yourself every day that love is key. Love is paramount to your existence. And this is why you should grow every day in that love. I know one of the word of God in 1 John chapter 4, Verse 8 says, God is love. It says, God is love. And this is what you should have every day when you think about God. Every time you conceive the blessedness of God, dear child of God, I want you to think about love. Because everything that is evidential to us from God is the love that He expresses to us. And I want you to know that this is the identity that will keep you going. Every day, go out with the love of God welling up within you. Tell yourself every day, I know that God loves me. I know that He cares for me. He wants me to survive. I know that the love that He has for me is too strong. You see, Jesus 
wouldn't have come to die for us if not for that love that the Father had for us. He says, for God so loved the world and he gave. You see, God would always give you out of his love. Every time he looks at you, he's always looking for something to give to you. So I want you to be encouraged every day. You may be unloved by the people around you. The people that you have so much care for may not have shown you the kind of love that you deserve. But I want you to know every day that God loves you. He loves you beyond measures. He loves you beyond imagination. There is always an evidence of his love. And that is the identity you should have of God. See yourself every day growing in the love of God. He says, what manner of love has the Father bestowed upon us that we may be called the sons of God. Dear child of God, you are beautiful. You are blessed. You are made in the image of God. You are made in the likeness of God. You are made in the blessedness of God. And he wants you to grow in that love every day. He wants you to know that he cares for you so much. He wants you to know that he wants his very best in your life. So grow every day with the love of God welling up inside of you. Tell yourself every day, I know I'm loved by God. I know he cares for me. I know he wants the best for me. It doesn't matter my situation. I know that he loves me. And dear child of God, I want you to know that you do not need to do anything to earn this love from God. You see, the scriptures recorded, it says, Jacob have I loved. This was only a boy. Jacob had not done anything, but he said, I loved him. Dear child of God, I want you to know that many times you don't really have to do anything to end the love of God. We have not done anything to have received the love of God. So let this stay in your heart every day. He loves you the way he loves the sinner out there. He wants the best for you. Actually, the time that God loved you, he loved you when you were a sinner. So it is not now that you have given your best to God. It is not now that you have given your service to God that you will feel unloved by God. Whilst you were yet sinner, he died for you. He gave you his very best. Dear child of God, at the time you were living in the world of sin, he expressed his love towards you. He gave you his very best. He stood by you. He made sure you were secured. He made sure you were protected. How much more, dear child of God, how much more now that you have given your best to God? How much more now that you have said yes to God? How much more now that you have given your service to God? You have given your fullness to God. How much more now that you have given your heart? to God. The child of God, you are not unloved. You are loved by God. He cares for you so much. He wants the very best for you. That was why he said he went to prepare a place for you and then he wants to have you with him. He wants you to always be with him. He wants you to have the best, all of his best, all of the blessings that he possesses. Dear child of God, he had willed them to you and that is why he called you a co-heir with Christ. I want you to grow every day in this love. Stand your ground knowing that God loves you. Don't allow yourself to do the things that make you feel unloved yourself. Sometimes it is the things that we do against God that makes us feel we are unloved by God. And so grow in this love every day. Know that he had bestowed the kind of love that is not found anywhere. He had bestowed that love on you. He says, what manner of love has the Father bestowed upon us that we may be called the sons of God. Dear child of God, what a privilege it is for you to be called the son of God. What wonderful privilege it is for you to be called the daughter of the most high God. For you to be so close to his heart and then he treasures you so much. He calls you like he did to David. He called you the apple of his eyes. He's so concerned about you. And this is why sometimes when you grieve his spirit, sometimes when you make him feel so bad, it hurts him so much. Because the things he wasn't expecting from us are the things that we have done to him. Dear child of God, please don't hurt God with the way you live your life because he loves you so much. Don't take his love for granted. He loves you so much. Always tell yourself, I'm loved by God. I'm the blessed of God. I know that God cares for me. It doesn't matter my situation right now. I know he loves me. Yes, it may look as though God is silent, 
but I know he loves me. It may look as though God is not paying attention to my situation. I know that he loves me. You see, when Jesus went to the cross, now this is the Jesus that God himself has said, this is my only begotten son in whom I am well pleased, in whom I love. You see, God would pay blind eyes to him. God would not pay attention to him. It seemed as though he was forsaken while he was on the cross. Now, does that mean that God doesn't love his son Jesus? Well, of course, you know the answer. He loves him so much. But yet, at that time that he needed to pay the price, he turned his eyes away from him. And then Jesus would cry and say, Why have you forsaken me? Yet, sometimes, it may look as though you have been forsaken. But I want to remind you, dear child of God, you are not unloved. You are the treasured one of God. You are the blessedness of God. You are the one that is so close to his heart. He thinks about you every day. And no wonder the psalmist says, what is man that you are mindful of him, that you pay attention to him, that you are so concerned about everything that he does. This is why the things we do many times would prick the heart of God. The things we do would cause the heart of God to be heavy because he did not expect those things from the one he loved, from the one he has given his best to, from the ones he had bestowed his very love upon. Dear child of God, remind yourself every day, I know that God loves me. I know that God wants the best for me. And I know that it will be beautiful for me. And I will dare to love, I will dare to express that love to everyone I find around me. Whoever claims to love God, yet hates a brother or sister, is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister, whom they have seen, cannot love God, whom they have not seen. And he has given us this command, anyone who loves God must also love their brother and sister. 1 John chapter 4, 20 to 21. Dear child of God, love cannot be overemphasized. If love is absent from your life, I want you to know from that moment on that God is absent. If there is something within you, consciously or unconsciously, that will cause you to refuse to love, I want you to know that you do not have knowledge of God. Because what the scripture says in 1 John chapter 4 verse 8, is that God is love. And everyone who knoweth God, they love. Everyone who have a knowledge of God, they have an expression of love. And what God is saying to us today is that the expression of love is an expression of Him. And we must be conscious of this truth. So if you do not love your brother, or you do not love your sister that you are seeing today, if you have hatred, if you have bitterness towards somebody who is right in front of you, how much more can you say you love God that you have not seen? If you cannot express that sincere love, sometimes we know we may have been hurt, but that should not take away that love that God has said we should have for our neighbors. Sometimes, they cannot be your friend again doesn't mean you cannot love them. This is what God has said. He says, love your neighbor as yourself. And this is the commandment that he has given to us. And he made sure that no commandment was greater than this. After we have come to love God. Dear child of God, you do not know God if you cannot express love to those people that you see. No wonder Solomon said, many waters can't quench love. If there is a true love of God in your heart, it doesn't matter what has been done against you. Because of the fact that you know God and you have God, it will help you to deal with things and move on. Sometimes these things could be very difficult. Yes, it's true. But we must understand the personality of God. This is why he came to establish the fact that he himself is love. He came to establish it very clear that he is that love 
that we are speaking about. God looked for everything that man relates with. God looked for everything that he knows that we deal with or we can use every day. He looked for everything he wants to use to bring an expression of himself toward man. He looked for everything he would use to bring an expression of himself to us. And what he found to use was love. So when you think about love, you are thinking about God. When you are conceiving that conception of love, you are conceiving God within you. You are conceiving God inside of you. And you should do everything to see that nothing is quenching it within you. Sometimes you may not have been able to get along with a person anymore. Doesn't mean you cannot love them within your heart. Doesn't mean you cannot sincerely wish them well within your heart. He said anyone who loves God must also is a must. It was a command. He says must also love his brother and his sister. The issues many are having as regards to their faith, home, marriages and anything of that kind many times boils down to the lack of the understanding of love. This is the reason we have issues with many things that is going on today. If you truly love God, you will not treat that woman the way you have been treating her. If you truly love God, you will not make that home a misery for your husband. If you truly love God, you will not make your children detest the home because you have understood that you cannot love God until you have loved men. Having an understanding of God is seeing his traits naturally in us. He's seeing everything that he is naturally in us. And from the text, if we cannot love those we see, how then can we love the one we do not see? And that one is God. So the true test of love of God, the true test of love for our Father, the true test of love for our Creator, the true test of love to this God who has made us, to this God who is invisible, is having a visible love towards men, is having that love that the people around you can see that this brother, this sister loves me genuinely from their heart. This is the way that that invisible love you have for God can be felt and can have that weight that you expect it to have. Dear child of God, be conscious of these things. Let the Spirit of God help you and guide you every day. Do everything time and time again not to see that you are failing in this expression of love. Ask God for the special grace to be able to express Him to the people because He has said He is love. So when you express Him to the people around you, it means you are expressing love to them. Sometimes they may not have ended it. Sometimes they may not be able to love you back in return. But do everything to love as God will grace you and as God will empower you to love. And I want to assure you, the blessings that comes to true lovers will come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. The blessings that God sees in people who sincerely love others, He will bring to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Ask God for the grace to love. It takes a lot to be able to express this kind of love. And this is a must, as He has said. It is a demand that we must meet. You see, no wonder the scriptures in Hebrews 13 verse 1, it says, let brotherly love continue. Dear child of God, you see, the same way God has loved you, He wants you to express that love to the people around you. He wants you to show them that concern of His care, of His compassion, of how wonderful He has been and wants to continually be. So tell yourself every day that I will baptize myself in the love of God because I know that he loves me and everywhere I go I would be sacrificial with my love I would not be stingy with my love I would express it 
as much as possible. A child of God, you are dearly loved of God. And He wants to take care of you. He wants you to be the best. He wants you to always stay close to His heart. Please don't walk away from Him. Always know that every day of your life is thinking of you. He wants the best for you. And you have not done anything to earn that love. You have not done anything whatsoever. But every time he looks to you, he looks at the one that his heart is so pleased with. You see, he loved David so much. And David had heard. David had seen. David had made so many mistakes. But yet, he would not withdraw his love from him. Dear child of God, I want you to know that God has not withdrawn his love from you. And he would never do so. He would not take that love from you, dear child of God. He would not come to that point of hating you. Yes, you have done a lot of things that should have caused him to walk away from you. Yet he's still sticking close to you. And that is what is called long suffering. He's suffering long so that you can still be with him. Dear child of God, please don't take that love for granted. God wants the best for you. And I want to assure you, you will get his very best in the mighty name of Jesus. Do well to please him. Do well to cause him to be satisfied with you every day. Every time he sees you, let him see that one who is also expressing his or her love to him. I know that every day of your life, God will cause you to grow in his love. And the blessings of love, dear child of God, you would receive in Jesus' mighty name. God will be with you. He will preserve you. He will guide you. And he will cause you not to err. He will cause you not to get into errors. He will cause you not to make blunders. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. May God bless you. May you feel the embrace, the warm embrace of God today in the mighty name of Jesus. If you have ever felt unloved, dear child of God, I want to remind you with this word today that God truly loves you. God truly cares for you. And he wants to see that you are blessed. He wants to see you have the best of the best and this I know as he said he loved and then gave I want to assure you you will see him give you his very best all the days of your life in the mighty name of Jesus grow in grace and grow in the might of God and I pray that God will set to you with everything you need everything you need to be satisfied with everything that God does to his lovers I pray you would experience I pray that God will do them for you in Jesus mighty name amen it is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.